Well, they're back at it again. I saw this pop up on my fucking Facebook page of all things. One of the, one of my boys was mad about it, and I was like, ah, I'll take a look at it. And sure enough, it's the same old shit again. Dungeons and Dragons: Wizards of the Coast removes problematic lore. So the nitty gritty of all this is that they're doing more sterilizing. What they're they doing? They're doing sterilizing. They don't like bad things. They don't like their players feeling bad about something with lore or racial stereotypes. They're trying to effectively remove what what, what, they, what they see as was it uh, racism in in, in 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 the in the book? Greedy dwarves, violent orcs, and evil dark elves. I mean, for fuck's sakes. So, um, some of the lore they remove is right here from beholders, giants, gnolls, kobolds, mind flayers, orcs, and Deonti. And there's quite a few others. But basically, they're trying to make these, I guess, less offensive to the players. Like, these blocks here are apparently what they removed. So... They're afraid of beholders looking like racial supremacists. They're afraid of Huan T looking like racial supremacists and slavers. They removed the part about uh, fire giants ransoming off captives and slaves and that kind of shit. Gnolls are too violent. Kobolds are too meek. Mind flayers are too rapey. I mean, they got, like... They're offensive for a reason. That, and I want to say it right now out in the open. If you see an orc and your mind goes, hmm, that's a black person, you're the racist. And, 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 and no point in my fucking life have I seen an orc in, in, in art or in, or in, or in like text and gone, hmm, that's a black person. If you think an orc is an African American or a black person, you're the racist. All right. That's how it is. If you feel offended by an orc and go, this is black people, you're the racist. Cause ain't no one in this fucking bitch gone, hmm, yes, this black person. No one's done that. No one except you because you're a racist. <laughs> that, I mean, that's nitty gritty of it. It, 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 it. If you see a beholder and think of a white person, or see a, a fire giant and think of a white person, or an Arabian, or anyone else who, who's dealt in slaves, you're the racist. These are fantasy races. They do not fucking exist. Giants don't exist. Beholders don't exist. Orcs don't exist. Gnolls don't exist. Ain't none of this shit exist. Unless a fucking portal opens up, or another dimension clashes into us. None of this shit exists. You cannot be offended by something that doesn't exist. It's not how that works. <clears throat> it can be unsettling, sure. It can make you feel emotions, sure. But that's the point of these things. These are designed to make... <clears throat> these are designed to make you feel. They're designed to make you think. When you as a player come across a, a yon T, you're really a whole other culture. These are these things, cultures. This is what they do. The, like, dwarves are hardworking and yada, that's, a, that's their culture. I mean, it's, it's all their culture. This is, what, this is what fire giants do. This is what beholders do. This is what gnolls do. This is what kobolds do. That's simply their culture. Now, there's nothing stopping a DM or a character from creating a different wanty or a different... Nothing stopping you. That's how, like, with Trailer Trash Rednecks, nothing stopping a kid from becoming a scientist. All right? He comes from, he comes from Trailer Trash culture, but he did something else. This is how this is how this whole thing fucking works. These are meant to offend you. Juan T are meant to offend you. Fire giants are meant to offend you because they're different classing cultures that don't exist, by the way. But they're designed to bring out different kinds of emotions. You can't homogenize all this shit. You can't have cultural homogenization. You just can't. Not not in this. Not in the game. This is designed to take you to player. And pitch you against a different culture that may go against what you personally believe. It's to make you think through it. If anything, these kinds of, of cultures and races can are supposed to help you deal with stuff you may find out in real life. How, how do you deal with a wand who thinks he's superior than you in every, every fucking way? Well, you can figure that shit out in D and D, and it might just help you in real life one day. I mean, seriously, that and they're removing. Uh, what was the other thing here? Uh, yeah, and, and, and they're remo they removing, like, the innate, like, there used to be, like, baked-in ability scores to certain races, and now they're allowing them to simply assign their innate ability scores, benefits to any scores they wanted, and they're removing the negative ones, because you can't have bad things. 
these 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 weak-minded people can't can't stand having bad things. I I, I gotta deal with a bad thing. Ugh, no, I don't like it. I mean, it's it's fucking stupid. All right, it is. It's all all this shit is stupid, and it's like you have Woods of the Coast who can't even force their you know their own change their own fucking policies in their company yet they're trying to change shit in the book because that's easier it's easier to change a, a thing that doesn't exist and actually do the right thing in their own company and they can't even fucking do that I mean which of the Coast has been under fire for the, for their own fucking racial shit for fucking months or years now but it's like like Juan T are a very complex culture and race they are because they <laughs> they just are I mean they're they're, they're <sighs> Mm. They're a very in-depth race, the Wan T, and orcs. I mean, orcs are orcs. I mean, I mean, I, 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 I don't see them as a racial problem because they're not. They don't exist. They aren't based off anything. They're based off orcs. I mean, for God's sakes. I mean, what's next? You're gonna say like 40k orcs are racist? Like, what, what the fuck? Orcs don't look, look like anyone on this planet that we know of. They're not. They're not racist. They're fucking. If if anything, if anything, if you if you play the devil's advocate here, saying that orcs as a culture are bad makes you a double racist because you're saying, hey, you as your culture is bad and you can't do that. I want to change it. You know, it's like it, it's a lose lose situation here. It really is. Just let orcs be orcs. Let one T be one T. Let fire giants be fire giants. And I'm gonna say that say it here. I'm not defending them. I'm not defending fire giants for being slavers. I'm not defending Juan T for eating people, usually alive. I'm not defending beholders. I mean, it's simply what they are. This is their lore as it is written. And it's written that way for a reason. As a combat controller, D dungeon master, game master, these are tools to put your players through on purposely uncomfy situations because it'll help you it's going to help you grow as a person if you got a play if you've got a party who's like hey you guys gonna go up against this really really haughty mean one t and th their literal encounter is dealing with a person who sees you as lesser and perhaps making them your friend or making a good trade deal make your players think through social problems i mean we discussed in the last video in the comments you guys are like well it helps with social with so, dd helps with, helps with actual social problems yeah sure this new D, &D ain't i'll agree I, you know I, I will agree with you sure it'll help with certain social situations for sure sure i agree you know what you're right you're right but you ain't gonna do that shit if you sterilize every fucking monster and encounter in the goddamn game you're not gonna get that social interaction i mean if Let's play Devil's Advocate again. Let's say that these races here help the players deal with racists. <laughs> help the players uplift those who they may see, I don't know, as worth redeeming. You know, like that like that one white trash redneck trailer kid who a teacher goes, you know what, you're worth the extra effort. Fuck it, let's bring you up. And for God's sakes. <sighs> it's also tiresome. And then another one by Wargamer. Um... More or less, they're just deal dealing with bad, bad lore and, and racism. It's just, it's fucking like role playing a kobold. You're puny, cowardly, servile, and tending towards alternating between meek silence and hysteria. Yeah, they remove that, but you don't, you don't have to be. That's simply how most of the culture is. You ain't got to play that way, but it's still there. I mean, fuck. Playing a cowardly character is fucking hilarious, by the way. Have y'all ain't done that shit yet? I mean, I mean, it's just... Try it out! Put yourself in someone else's... D&D is putting yourself in someone else's boots. Ugh. God. See, see right here. The move to redact entire lore sessions, uh, including paragraphs of claiming all orcs as tribal creatures with culturally ingrained tendency to bow before superior strength, are seemingly the film's latest steps to address tougher criticisms, namely that its fantasy races evoke harmful real-world racial prejudices. If you see an orc who is green, <laughs> or, or whatever fucking color that orc may be, who has tusks, who has huge lower jaws, who have big blocky teeth, who are fucking monstrously powerful. If you see this whole other species and race and think, hmm, 
That's just like black people. You're the racist. No one's, everyone's afraid to say this. You are the racist. Everyone's afraid to point this out. They don't, no, I want to upset you. You, if you see a, if you see an orc and go, hmm, that's a black person. You are the racist. Ain't no one else, ain't, ain't no one else looking at an orc and going, hmm, yep. That, we see, oh look, an orc. It is an orc. It is his own little thing. There's, there, there's no telling what inspired orcs. Have you seen the, the amount of orcs there are? For God's sakes, go, go and Google and type in orc and see what pops up. And 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 all the orcs that pop up, I don't see a African American or black person in 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 in, in the fire, entire fucking list. I don't. I don't. I don't see it. I do not fucking see it. Ain't, ain't, ain't no one do. I mean, it's just a culture that's been invented by Gary Gygax. I mean, it's just and then. And then he didn't invent orcs. Orcs have been around forever now. I mean, at, and at first they're pig people. Orcs were <laughs> orcs were for the longest time pig people. <laughs> I mean, they had snouts and shit. And then they're, they're, I mean, there are Warhammer orcs, 40k orcs. There are Kingdoms of War orcs. There's D and D orcs. There's Veil Rider orcs. There's orcs all over. Oh, let's see here. Google orc images. If you see any of these, and you think, hmm, a black person, you're just a fucking idiot and a racist. Ain't none of these fucking things look like black people. Ain't none of them. Wanna know why? Because they're not. I mean, for... Really? Really? Are you guys out of your fucking minds? Seriously. How fucking dumb and simple do you have... Do, do, what, is, what is this? <laughs> Orc breeding? That's, that's not what I wanted for this video. But no! Ain't none of these fucking things look like black people. None of them. Ain't none of these invoke the, the, the mind of a black person. And none of them should. Wanna know why? Because they don't fucking exist. I wish they existed in some points. But still! <laughs> ain't, ain't none of these things. Come on, man. Stop, stop taking the fucking piss. All right, stop taking the piss. Let's, let's type in D&D orc. Okay, so here's the picture in the D&D Beyond Orc Monster Manual, all right? This is not an African-American. This is not a black person. This is a fucking nobody. This is an orc. Ain't no one on this planet look like this. Ain't no one got tusks. Ain't no one got big fucking teeth. And no one, ain't no one got fists past their knees. This does not exist. This is not a black person. It can't be racial. It can't. It can't be racist. It can't be. Because it doesn't, it doesn't look like any race we have. <laughs> I mean, if you walk up to a black person and go, hey, does this offend you? They're probably going to go, uh, no. <laughs> because it's a fucking orc. This is mostly uppity white people who are racist drawing their own racist parallels to a creature that does not exist. The short and thin of it. Racists are finding racist issues with their racist minds in D&D and in monsters. This is the, 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 the nitty crit of it all that no one has the balls to say out loud. <laughs> I mean, for fuck's sakes. I wish I looked like that. <laughs> I would be that, fuck yeah. Look at him. He's a fucking stonk. I want to be that. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. And he's green. 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 Purple? Uh, I guess he's gray. Green. Gray. Green. 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 Gray. Green. Green. <laughs> I mean, come on. Stop taking the piss, people. Ugh. If anything, if anything, they look, they look more Mongolian. And they're, they're based off Mongolian culture, as far as I can really tell. All the furs and all that shit. Look at that. Green. Green. Green and dashing? Anyway. I mean, ain't none of... The <laughs> Come on, people. Which is the which is the coast? Stop taking the piss. All right, stop being racist. Okay, just stop. It's, it's it's not funny anymore. It's just sad. It's not funny anymore. It is just sad. 
And then you got these just long Reddit posts I was reading about it. Of course, look, they deleted the post because why wouldn't they? <laughs> uh. Yeah, this guy points out here. Dark elves were Norse mythology. There were dark elves and there were elves. There were dwarves. There, 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 like night dwarves and shit. I mean, <sighs> yeah. I mean that, and he points out they're aberrations. They're supposed to be bad. You need you need to have bad creatures in your game. You do. If not, it's all completely up. It's completely boring. It'll be completely. If, if everything is all just morally gray, it's bored. You need bad people. You need culturally questionable things in your game. That way you can you can bring players against them and make them think about how to maneuver culturally with their brains and their emotions around the issue. I mean, this shit is so tiresome. It's tiresome. You need bad things. You need bad creatures or bad races or bad cultures or bad people. You, you need it. A game needs the yin and yang. You can't have good without the bad. You need mind flayers. Why? Because they're so horribly evil, everyone's on the same boat about them. Or the one T were like, they're bad, but are they really bad people? It's just... It's so fucking tiresome. It's tiresome. You don't need to sterilize everything. You're... N <sighs> and... What, what, what's this at the very bottom of this fucking article? What is this? If making changes like this allows even a very small number of Dungeons and Dragons players to feel safer or more... To feel safer? You're playing a fucking game. You're already safe. You're either behind your computer screen, or at a table with friends, or people you know, playing a game. You're already fucking safe. If you feel so unsafe from playing a tabletop game, get the fuck out of here. How weak are we nowadays? How fucking impetulant and weak as, as, as are, we, are we as a people, where you feel unsafe from a fucking dice game? For God's sakes. It's so fucking infuriating because they feel unsafe from playing a D&D game. I just feel unsafe because mind flayers are bad. Yeah, they're supposed to be bad, Timmy. They're supposed to invoke emotions inside you. You're not going to be comfortable with everything in D&D. Just how in life you're not going to be comfortable with everything. You're not. Not in real life. Want a good example? Take your yuppity white ass and go to Afghanistan or Iraq. I fucking dare you. Go there. Go to Syria. Go find out what happens when you try and fucking tow in someone else's culture. Go on. Go on. I'll, I'll fucking wait. I will wait. It's so frustrating and it's so... It makes me so angry that we've, come, we, we've sunk this low. Where even D and D makes people feel unsafe. D D and D, the pro <laughs> any tabletop RPG, you're playing pretend. These people can't use their imagination without feeling unsafe. You are completely safe, my little snowflake. All right, ain't no one gonna hurt you. The mind flayers don't exist. <laughs> Uh, I just can't. I can't. I, I I hate I hate where we're going. I fucking hate it. I hate where we're going. You give these guys an inch, the entire D and D game's gonna be homogenized, boring, flavorless shit. And the jokes there, white folks love flavorless shit, don't they? He he ha ha. I mean, for God's sakes. Let the game have some spice. Let there be really evil or questionable cultures. You need to. It needs to be there. It needs to be there. It does. It needs to be there. It's... <sighs> they've they've taken a book in lore that's been like 20, 30 years old and going, mm, I don't like that. It makes me feel unsafe and bad. And they're completely changing the history of the game because it makes them feel uncomfortable. Now that, that's fucking privilege. 
That is a lot of privilege. Right? Where, where where you feel so bad about, about what's going on, you have you have to change something that's not it's not even yours. It's not even yours. But you're changing it. Smacks of privilege, doesn't it? <sighs> D and D is dying. D and D is dying because of this shit right here. And there's not a fucking thing we can do about it because these fucking racist people hold the reins. <laughs> we just gotta roll with it, I guess, or use the old books, one or the other. Uh, hope you found this entertaining, at least. I'm going back to work. Until I see you next on this side of the veil, this has been Garbro, and this is some bullshit. <laughs>